Cara Buckley's from the New York Times. Hello, Cara. Welcome to The Debrief. Thank you. I thought you did a really insightful story here about the society that's emerging, how they police themselves. Tell us a little bit about it. First, you looked at statistics now, crime statistics down there in that precinct. Right. It's, it is really hard to tell if crime is up there because the police only compile crime statistics by precinct, and this is a very localized area. What has happened is the police have decided, or there's an informal agreement they have, not to go into the park. And so the protesters have organized their own security team, and they patrol, which they patrol themselves. Sometimes if there's a problem, they might yell, get out, get out, at people or actually own with them. But you took us to the anatomy of it, what they do if there's an incident, someone unruly. They surround them, they kind of move them to the side. T right. Talk a little bit about that. Well, basically, they believe in non-confrontational like dealing with things non-confrontationally. They want to de-escalate the situation, talk the person down, and uh, so they basically circle them and move them out towards the edge of the park. And if a crime has been committed, the police then sometimes, usually... On the edge. Right, they're on the edge. The other thing you said, there's kind of uh, a society that's involved where they know that that part of the park represents the kind of drug dealers. I mean, tell about, talk about that. Well, not so much the drug dealers. There's, there's basically, is on the, on the west side of the park, there is uh, more the, not lawless elements, but people who might be slightly uh, lawless, and okay. because there's so many tents there, it's hard to tell what's going on. But there's a definite own ecosystem within the park, right. where sort of the more the uh, information section sessions and that sort of thing happen on closer to Broadway. And then as you get farther and farther away, you get sort of the more renegade. I would it's say. Just a little tiny neighborhoods within Zuccotti Park. Exactly. It was a fascinating look that Carr Buckley co-wrote in the Times this week. Thank you Thank for you. coming on to the debrief.